In this tutorial, I will show how to use Revit for set up simulation done in Versailles for comparing and analyze so it's possible to compare different proposals or for analyze of the context. Here's an example on how it can be done and in this video it's about the wind tunnel so if I zoom a little bit in just to explain what I've done. First I have a top view of the context with or without form concepts and then I have a drafting view with images from the simulation from Vasari and then a legend also from the simulation within Vasari. But in this video I will focus on show how to set these images up and the overlay view. Here we are in Vasari where I want to show how to take images from the wind simulation. I launched the wind tunnel, run the 3D simulation with the same wind speed and angles for all of the proposal and context analysis. Make sure it have the same height and of course the most important thing that the analysis grid is the same size. And when you have been running for a while I can pause it so I can edit the scale so it have the same scale or else it's not possible to read it visually. And select the right color scheme. I prefer to use the blue, red and green and turn off the element surface to have it even more clean the view remove the windrows icon and then we have a very clear without any surfaces or whatever so it's easy to take a screen print off and then I make sure that the windows is fit so it's have the same size so I get the same size of the image then I launch the snipping tool choose the rectangular clip so I can specify how much of the screen I take a screen print of try to go as close as possible to the boundary of the simulation for all of the simulations so they have the same size and then save the image right click and say save as as shown here I have a very structured file naming so it's very easy later on inside Revit to select the right file in this case it is the win summer plan view proposal 2 and I save it under that name save back in Revit where I'll start with creating a top view like this of the context here I just duplicate one of the floor plan views could also have used the 3D views but it's best with the just 2D floor plans so I copy the side view right click duplicate view I don't need the shadows so I turn them off I don't need all these different categories like the scope box and the reference plane so I will turn those off by select them and right click and say hide category make sure it have the right scale earlier I have found out that 1 to 1500 is a good scale to have all the views side by side as shown on this sheet so I will do that in view I want to use for the overlay for the different simulations and finally I rename the view to something logic C for concept and concept 2 wind for wind simulation and it is the summer condition and then press OK for rename the view and then back to the sheet where I want to set up these different types of simulations and here I drag the floor plan onto the view remove the view title using a scope box that I've created early on that I will show in a, another video on how I set this up and then I can place this view in relation to the frame I also created early on and here I can snap to the view frame to the frame of detail lines to have it placed in the same way for all of the views and now I will show how to import these images of the simulation for this I create drafting views that I find under view drafting views call it something logical concept 2 c2 wind summer and here I'm using the same scale as the overlay drawing and that is 1 to 1500 and then I created a new drafting view then I just draw a, a reference plane on this one just to have some kind of geometry on this drafting view and then close the drafting view and then drag the drafting view onto the sheet under drafting views drag it onto the view and if there were no 
kind of geometry or lines on this view, I couldn't place it on the sheet, that's why. Right. So it will be deleted after. Here I also remove the view title to have no title. Select the drafting view, right click, activate view, delete this one. Now I will create some new reference planes on the boundary of the context building one up here. Try to go as close as possible to the existing buildings and another in the other direction and one down here parallel to the this building here. And now I have some kind of reference or guides to scale the images from the wind simulation. And to import image I need to go to insert image browse to the right folder and select that image I want to import. In this case it is the wind summer plan view concept 2 and say open and place it. As we can see it's too big right now so I have to move it on place. This corner should be here similar to the reference plane something like that and we can see here it's a little bit too big so I have to scale it. For that I'm using the scale function. The image is selected and activate the scale from the upper context building to the lower context building here should have the same distance as the earlier drawn reference planes and then I click at the reference plane then it will be scaled to the right size as we can see here if the image is too big in relation to the the custom height sheet frame I can use a masking region from the annotate panel and I want to have it here this is the frame not that easy to see here, but I know that is the frame and I will just use a rectangular tool try to snap as close as possible to the frame in both direction here and I will make another rectangle so that there is in the middle of these two rectangles will not be hidden of the mask and region and then finish and here we can see it will hide stuff underneath this mask and region and here I can edit if the size is not right. I also prefer to have it highlighted the side so I can make this less colorful by create a fillet region instead. Doing the same so to say create a rectangle for the inner part. I want to have it highlighted around here and then make a bigger frame something like this. Create a fillet material that is transparent and actually it's not possible to make these transparent. I have given a color, could also be in a white color and just give it a name so I know what kind of these fillet region I should use and then finish the fillet region. Now it's totally solid but if I select it and right click and say override graphics in view by element I can adjust the surface transparency to something like 40 in this case and then we see it get transparent and highlight what I want to highlight so to say but as we can see now this one is on top of the mask and region actually I want to have it in the opposite way so I select the fillet region say send to back and now it's sent to back so the mask and region is on top of this fillet region and when I'm finished with this I can right click again and see deactive view I come back to the level of the sheet. Unfortunately I cannot control which one of these views is on top of the other ones so I need to remove the view with the real geometry by selecting it and then just press delete and then it will delete the view from the sheet but it's still in the project it just jump back to the views and then drag it on again and then remove the title again and move it correct on place by MV. So something like that then it's set up with the underlay of the simulation with the sharp edges from the native Revit geometry from a view on top to create this kind of style.